No. It's me, your little boy, Ike Samson. I have something special for us choosing us today. You know, there is a saying in my language that kill them before they do or they kill you. You know, when you figure out that there is someone around you that is plotting evil against you, that is unhappy with what God is giving to you, you don't need prophet at that moment. You don't need a you know, bishop because sometimes God is not going to show prophet what it will show you directly. Sometimes God will cause some a little misunderstanding in order for you to discover accurately whom they are. You know, there was something that happened in our working place one day. So one lady was like, you know, smiling with me laughing with us you know one of them start to shout ah, you ought not to talk with our people you ought not to talk with them i i i, I become so quiet i say what is going on and she respond to her no i am the one that is talking to him i'm even the one that is telling him all these things you know uh, leave that side leave that side i look at it i said it is god that just revealed his character to me whom he is, that he is not named, but what, but a hater. So that is why many of us need to know that when God reveals some categories of people to you, you don't need a prophet to give you a revelation again. You just need to use the wisdom to do what to bend your what your ways of acting with them. Don't hate them, but don't be so close to them because some people we take many years in order for them to do what to change so when you discover either your brother your sisters they are hating you don't hate them but know how and where you place them in your life so that they will not be able to destroy you because sometimes some people will try by all means to convince you to trust them and they will end up using it against you some people will try by all means to convince you in order for you to trust them, in order for you to give them that role to play in your life, whereby they will end up using it against you. So when God show you whom your friend is, delete them. Don't keep their memory in your life. When God show you the envy around you, the jealousy around you, the malice around you, you need to calculate how uh, how and where to place them because when god redeem when god reveal he redeem so when god show you some categories of people it is your own duty to know where to place them in your life because if you are not careful these people don't care no matter what they don't care you know this is what god showed me revelation in in months back where some of my friends were teaming together, where they were teaming together in order for them to break me. I was like, what is going on? And physically, it come to appear the same dream. So that is why you, as a chosen, when God reveal whom your friend is, when God reveal the kind of people you have around you, you need to trust God. Don't keep waiting forward for you to see another vision before you believe. Just let them go. Don't hate them, but know where you place them. Because some people, even devil itself, is afraid of them. Some people, even devil itself, is so scared because they have no idea how come they have that kind of mindset. So you need to let some people go. Remember, blessed people, blessed you.